guys, what's up? So ever since I made my What is a Weeaboo video, a lot of you guys have asked me to make another one about otaku. So today I'm going to try my best to explain to you guys what an otaku really is, including the difference between an otaku and a weeaboo. We often associate the word otaku with being a hardcore anime and manga fan, but actually the word otaku is used for someone who has an obsessive hobby or interest in something, not just related to anime and manga, it can be anything. However, today I'm going to talk about the word otaku that is used in countries outside of Japan, which is an anime and manga otaku. So keep in mind that whenever I use the word otaku in this video, I'm talking about the anime and manga otaku, not the general otaku. Some people say that you are considered as an otaku when you are really obsessed with anime and manga. But some also say that you are an otaku simply because you enjoy watching anime and reading manga occasionally. Some people go as far as to set a standard of being a true otaku. For example, if you haven't watched at least 1000 anime, then you're not qualified to be called an otaku. If you haven't watched this and that anime, then you're not a real otaku. If you've only been into anime for around a year or so, then you're not a true otaku either. In all honesty though, you can always call yourself an otaku if you wish to. It doesn't matter how many anime series you've watched or how many manga you've read. If you consider yourself as an otaku, then, well, you're an otaku. There are people out there who have only begun watching anime but already labeling themselves as otakus and that's completely fine. And there are also people who have been loving anime for years but never label themselves as otakus and that's also fine. Not everyone likes to put a label on themselves. Some of you guys may know that I'm an Aikido student and I had also trained my juniors in the past whenever the teacher was not available. However, I never label myself as an Aikidoka or a martial art. I just call myself an Aikido student. Why? Because I'm not comfortable labeling myself as a martial artist. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing the rainbow gesture here. <laughs> it's the same as calling yourself an otaku. I like anime and manga, but I don't call myself an otaku. Some people reverse themselves as otakus and some people don't. It's just a matter of personal preference. First of all, the meanings of these two words are already different. Otaku is someone who loves anime and manga, while weeaboo is a wannabe Japanese. As I explained in my previous video, weeaboo is a derogatory term. It is originally used to refer to people who give other people secondhand embarrassment because of their attempt at being Japanese, or rather being anime characters. One of the easiest ways to identify a weeaboo is by looking at the way they speak. They would usually use bits of Japanese words in their sentences, which they learn from watching anime. For example, For a more detailed explanation, go watch my What is a Weeaboo video. I leave a link to it in the description box below for those of you guys who are watching this on your phone. Anyway, people often have a misconception that if you are an otaku, then you are not a weeaboo. But the reality is, you can be an otaku and a weeaboo at the same time. Because weeaboos are usually anime fans, hence why they tend to speak using Japanese words here and there and try to act like anime characters, which results in giving other people secondhand embarrassment. It's true that they are otakus because they are anime fans, but from other people's perspectives, they are also weeaboos. They just don't realize that what they are doing are considered weeaboo material. Now, I'm not gonna start shaming people who are weeaboos here because I believe that most anime fans have gone through that weeaboo phase when they start getting to anime. I know I did, and I believe that they will eventually grow out of it. It's kind of like being a special snowflake and going through an emo phase when you are a teen, thinking that you are special and different, acting all edgy, and being convinced that no one understands you and that you are born in the wrong generation. I'm speaking from a personal experience here. I know that you guys who are around my age have gone through this phase as well, so don't act like you're not guilty of this, you filthy hypocrite. Anyway, the point is, you can be an otaku without being a weeaboo, but you can also be an otaku and a weeaboo at the same time. For example, you can be obsessed with anime without trying to be an anime character, which makes you an otaku. But you can also be obsessed with anime while trying to act like an anime character at the same time, which makes you an otaku and a weeaboo. The difference is that weeaboo is an insult, while otaku is not. Weeaboo is a Japanese wannabe, while otaku is an anime and manga enthusiast. Because, like I said before, the word weeaboo is an insult and people use it because they want to ridicule you and make you feel bad about yourself. If they call you an otaku, then they're not exactly making fun of you because you'll just be proud of being labeled as one. I've seen some people commenting on my what is a weeaboo video, saying things like, I'm a weeaboo and I'm proud. Bad news kids, being a weeaboo is not something to be proud of. It's like saying, I'm an edgy special emo snowflake and I'm proud. The word you're looking for is otaku. Instead of saying, I'm a proud weeaboo, 
which is the same as insulting yourself, say that you're a proud otaku instead because that means you're proud of your hobby. Lastly, I want to say a few things in response to a lot of comments in my previous weeaboo video. There were many comments saying things like, I like anime and manga, but I don't worship Japan. Am I a weeaboo? I want to go to Japan someday, but it's because I genuinely love the culture. Am I a weeaboo? I'm old and decrepit and I smell like soil. Am I a weeaboo? Yeah, I think you actually already know the answer to your question. You're just seeking for other people's acceptance to assure yourself that you're not a weeaboo. I'm sorry to break it to you, but no matter how logical your reasoning behind your hobby is, there will always be someone out there on the internet who will call you a weeaboo. Even if you show my weeaboo video to those people, trying to make them understand what a weeaboo really is, they will still call you a weeaboo. Why? Because they just want to make fun of you, and as long as you're still using that anime picture as your YouTube avatar, you will always be considered as a weeaboo. But all jokes aside, you shouldn't really take this weeaboo thing seriously. Most YouTubers who make videos making fun of weeaboos are just doing it as a joke and for entertainment purposes. Lighten up and learn to laugh at yourself. It's not fun to be around people who take things seriously and get offended over everything. And don't stress yourself out trying to figure out whether you are a weeaboo or not. As long as you're not hurting anyone, then there's no real harm in being a weeaboo. Of course, weeaboos may give other people secondhand embarrassment and annoy the crap out of them. Them. But that's just part of being young and stupid, just like I once was back in my youthful days. <laughs> the good old days. <laughs> like I said, I believe that people will grow out of their embarrassing face, including their weeboo face. It's just a normal part of growing up. So that was my take on the word otaku. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. As always, don't forget to check out my second channel for more videos and follow me on my social medias. I leave all the links to them in the description box below. So that's all for me today guys, thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for those of you who have subscribed to me. If you haven't, then please be sure to click on the shiny subscribe button below. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends if you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day everyone, bye bye!